Now we're going to look at the forehand volley drop into the nick. We've got three types of volley drop here. We've got the lower forehand drop from kind of knee and hip height. We've got a volley drop from the shoulder height. And then we've got another volley drop from overhead height. For me, the obvious difference between each of these three, the lower the drop, the shorter the backswing and the shorter the follow through. And as we can see on the low volley drop, the follow through is simple and straight through the ball. As we begin to hit the ball higher in relation to our body, the follow through changes ever so slightly. So on a shoulder height volley drop, there's much more action round the side of the ball. So the follow through starts to come across our body. And then with the even higher volley drop from above our head, the follow through comes round the side of the ball even more. And above our head, we can start to put a little bit more pace on the ball as well. So we fire it into the corner much more. So a lower volley drop, short back swing, short follow through, and we hit straight through the back of the ball. As the ball gets higher and higher, we start to work our racket around the outside of the ball, looking to spin the ball around so then it lands into the nick with the angle. What we don't want to do on any of these shots though, is hit the top of the ball and hit downwards. That's a common mistake that people make. We only ever want to be hitting the back or the outside of the ball. We never want to be hitting the top of the ball like a slam dunk.